so let's quickly see the before and after of what we just did this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after you can see the background is looking dark right now then i'm just going to create another mask again because i want to work only on this subject so i'll create a new mask click on select subjects youtube today here and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to collaborate with camera Raw. so let's get started so i'm just going to open this image with camera Raw, and before i do that i'll just come to filter and convert for smart filters and i converted it to smart filter because i can go back and make any adjustment which i did for the image in camera Raw. so i'll just come to filter again and open this image in camera Raw. So the first thing we have right here we have a temperature you can choose to make your picture look um cool or look warm depends on the kind of look you are going for for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to make it look a little bit cooler like this and um i just push my tint to plus two and after that i'll just reduce my highlights like this and um, open up my shadows a little bit bring up my whites and bring down my blacks like this so these are before and these are after. After that, I'll just um, add a little bit of vibrance to this image. I'll cut my vibrance right here and add a little bit of vibrance. So after adding vibrance, I think plus five. The next thing I'm going to do right now, I'll just come to my curves. So this is my curves right here. And uh, for my red, if I take my slider up like this you can see i'm adding rest of the image and if i take it down like this you can see i'm adding science to this image so just choose anyone that works for you so for this tutorial i'm just going to add a little bit of science to the shadow so i'll click on the shadow area like this and just add a little bit of science like this so you can see and also for the highlights i'll just add a little bit of reds to the highlights like this okay that's what i'm going to be doing for this one and i can choose to come to the green and add greens to the highlights and uh, magenta to the shadows like that but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to leave this one like this so you can experiment with it and use which one works for you but basically that's how you use your curves you can also use a curve to add contrast to your image so click on this neutral right here and just create an s curve by clicking um these shadows down like this and come to it, come to the highlight and click on it up like this to add a little bit of contrast to the image like that but I'm, but I'm not going to do that i'm just going to undo that by clicking on ctrl z to undo like that okay so the next thing i'm going to do right now i'll just come to my um color grading for so for this color grading you can choose to add any colors you want to your shadows and your highlight just like the curves you can also do the same thing with the color grading wheel right here so let's say for example i want to add greens to the um shadows i'll just move this one part to the green side you can see i'm adding greens to the shadows and let's say i want to add um rest to the shadows i can just move this one right here to the red side you can see i'm adding rest to the shadows like that so just choose anything that works for you but i'm not going to be using this one so i'm just going to leave it like that and also you can do the same for the mid-tones if you want to add a particular colors to the mid-tones you can just choose on any color you want to add to the mid-tones like that but i'm not going to be doing that so i'm just going to leave it the way it was originally like this okay so let me just undo all that so the same thing you can do the same thing for the highlights choose any color you want for the highlight so that's how this color grading will work but i'm not going to be using it for this image since i already use curves to do that i'm not going to be using it so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to come to my color mixer so for this my color mixer you can see i have my hue I have my saturation and i have my luminance so this hue just simply means the colors of of the image you can choose any colors you can change it to any colors you want while the saturation means the intensity of the colors on the image you can make it saturated or desaturated while this luminous is the brightness so let me just quickly um work on the um skin tools of this image you know skin tools consist of mostly yellow oranges and uh, reds i'm just going to take the hue of the orange to this yellow side a little bit to add a little bit of yellows to the oranges and for the reds i'll just take it to this side to add a little bit of oranges while for the yellows i'll just take the yellows a little bit down like this to add yellows to this image like this for the greens since this flower right here are greens i'm just going to add more greens to the image to compensate for these flowers to make it look more greener like that and for the aqua i'll just take the aqua to the green side and um take the magentas to the orange side like this so i'm just trying to work on the skin to right now 
why for the saturation i think i'm just going to desaturate a little bit of the reds on the image like this and just increase saturation of the yellows because of the flowers and um, for the um oranges i'm just going to add a little bit of saturations to the oranges and for my luminous i'm just going to add a little bit of brightness to the oranges to make it look more brighter so if i take it all the way up you can see the skin to are becoming more bright which i don't want so i'm just going to take it a little bit down like this i think plus 14 is okay so like i said this is just a guide on how to collaborate with camera raw so after that the next thing i'm going to do right now i'm just going to um close this one and i want to make the background dark so this is a new feature that adobe just added to camera raw so if i want to make the background a little bit darker or i want to work on the background separately all i have to do is come here to this my mask tool so click on this my mask tool and click on select subject so camera will automatically select my subject for me so this part that i show you red are the parts that are selected you can see camera did an amazing job so my, my subject is selected right now so i'm just going to invert this mask to make the background selected and to do that i'm going to click on this invert icon right here so once i click on this invert icon you can see it has shifted to the background so right now the background is selected so to hide your mask all you have to do is click on this show mask on un uncheck it and you're going to hide your mask so after that i'm just going to reduce the exposure of my background like this a little bit to make it look darker like this and i'm just going to bring the highlights down like this and i'm just going to um, bring the blacks down like this okay bring the white up and i'm just going to um, come back to the colors and just add a little bit of warm temperature to the background like this and add a little bit of tint as well okay i like i like i think i like it like this so let's quickly see the before and after of what we just did this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after you can see the background is looking dark right now then i'm just going to create another mask again because i want to work only on the subject so i'll create a new mask click on select subject and um after that i'm just going to hide the mask and just come down to um my highlights and just reduce the highlights a little bit like this and i'll come to my temperature just add a little bit of warmth to my subjects like that so this is the before and this is the after so once you feel you are satisfied with what you have on your camera roll, just click on ok and it's going to apply in photoshop so this is the before and this is the after so you can choose to reduce the opacity if you feel it's too much so just i'm just going to take down the opacity a little bit i think 70 like this and i think i like it like this so these are before and these are after so guys that's how you collaborate using camera roll. and if you like this video make sure to give this video a like so more people can see this video and learn from this video as well i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative